Hey everyone out there in Tumblr land. This is Battle Craze Axe Mage and we are going to do D20 questions. So we didn't quite get enough to fill an actual D20, but since my D15 hasn't arrived yet, um, that Kickstarter is still working on manufacturing and shipping, but it's going to be super cute once it gets here. I can't wait to show it off. Um, anyway, <clears throat> so we are, uh, we're actually going to roll for it um, <clears throat> and just discount uh, 16 through 20. So I've got my little handful of favorite dice over here. And to start with, we're going to do, we're going to use my skeleton key. So called because um, the first time I ever rolled above like a, like a 10 on this die was when uh, we were fighting slimes in the current campaign and ever so conveniently the DM uh, placed a hammer in the room because I, um, I'm, I'm our tank and uh, all I had were like slashy weapons and that wasn't gonna work for slimes because their thing is um, when you cut them in half um, they uh, turn into two smaller weaker slimes and yeah, that that is the way to get overrun. You have a triple problem on your hands. Um, <clears throat> so because the DM was kind, there was a hammer in that room. So let's see what we got. Oh, hey, she actually did not, not terrible. Not great, but not terrible. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So this one is from uh, Disarray, Bard or Rogue. I've actually never played either one. I always end up, well that's another question, um, but like I've wanted to play a Rogue before. It just, it's never happened yet. Maybe next time. Rogues are cool though. So I guess that's my answer. Although being able to your mom joke someone to death is a pretty cool, cool power. So bards ha uh, have their good points too. Let's see. Next, let's go with HD Dice uh, Blue Aurora. Show off all the pretty color layers. And I always want to call this one a fluorite die because fluorite comes in all these colors. But nope, that's not what it's called. What you got for me? <laughs> We're playing follow the leader. Let's try that again. Ah, nope. Third time's a charm. <laughs> Seriously, I'm gonna have to float test this one. Okay, there we go. Much better. So this one comes from Aderna Zero, and they ask, uh, what is my favorite character that I've played? Um, so I think that would have to be from the uh, very short-lived campaign that my best friend ran. Uh, we ended up, you know, just not having time for it. Uh, she got a new job and et cetera, et cetera. But we uh, want to start it up again eventually as soon as there's time. <laughs> so you know how every campaign always has that one character that's like really gimmicky and off the wall? In this one, we were all that character. We had, I was a, so we reskinned a changeling to be a crystal gem from Steven Universe. Um, and I was uh, not a sword mage, but an axe mage because, you know, axes. Um, is that still my blog title? I don't remember. It was at one point. Uh, because I, I liked the sword mage class, but I wanted to be an axe mage. Axes are good. Um, and so the frame story was that, our story background rather, was that, um, we were normal people in modern day earth 
that got in a plane crash and went down a rabbit hole and then we became you know D&D characters and my character was this girl who had been sick her whole life um, I never really worked out the details because I figured eventually they would come to me uh, but the campaign was too short uh, basically ha had never spent much time out of her house or doing things that were active um, and suddenly she's this uh, seven foot tall uh, warrior citrine gem uh, with a big ass axe and she is just loving it um, I think she was like 12 13 14 somewhere in there uh, so it was just great and um, she became kind of let's be generous and call her a pack rat and not a kleptomaniac um, because she just kind of pick up things that were on the map and so I had this whole list of things oh it might actually be in this notebook is it I don't think it is oh well but the the great part was um, my friend uh, was the best DM and kept finding ways to work things that I had picked up into the campaign later on uh, like I picked up a whole bunch of fruits and vegetables when we walked through an orchard and after that we just so happened to um, uh, fight a mimic and <laughs> In this campaign, we had a habit of going off script. So when we fought the mimic, as soon as we realized, oh shit, it's sapient, it's talking to us, uh, we, we tried to befriend it. And the uh, what it asked for was food, and I'm like, I gotcha. I got this. So we had a pet mimic very briefly until we figured out we did not know how we were going to transport it. But yeah, it, it was great. It was so much fun. I'll, I'll talk about the other characters at some point. Um, but the, uh, I've been talking too much already. Let's see. So third question. Let's use a pretty lapis lazuli dice. And it's not actual lapis lazuli, although that is available. It's got paint flaws. that look like you know gold threads and lapis often has flecks of um i don't know if it's actual metal or just reflective stuff but that's what it reminds me of <laughs> use this one next session uh 11 that's what we just did 12. okay Oh gosh, um, I'm sorry, hun. Your username is is it Welch? Cat L E I D H. You, you gotta respond to this and uh, tell me how to pronounce that. Um, so they ask a uh, favorite version or module, and so I've only played uh, fourth and fifth edition, um, in the. Uh, this is the first actual module that we've ever run, which is uh, Tomb of Annihilation. And it, it's fun, but I prefer homebrews. Uh, I guess because you can get, get zanier with them. Um, I will say 5th edition took a minute to grow on me because it felt like, um, as a warrior type, there was so much more to do in uh, 4e. But, you know, it's growing on me. I don't know which one I prefer, honestly. Um, it's just, you know, whichever game I can join, I'm good. Let's see. So next up we've got 
an old Chessex frosted die from before they standardized their um, their mold. And this one always makes me think of a uh, blue Hawaiian. <laughs> My dire dice are conspiring. Four. There we go. One, two, three, four. Favorite character type to play, and that comes from uh, Dr. Dandy. So, I'm smashy characters. That's all there is to it. I like being able to run in and hit things, and it's great. It's great. Purple Borealis. Chessex making up words, mashing up aqua and purple because that's the shimmer in this one. Oh, that's so pretty. I love that. Five. So that comes from uh, Quaxorixel. I probably butchered that, I'm sorry. So they ask uh, what out of print dice set uh, I want, and Confetti Borealis, gotta be. Um, I do have some over here in my D10s bag. Look how pretty that is. And the difference between that and a purple is the shimmer colors because confetti has all kinds of different shimmer colors and it also depends on the lighting that you've got it in. Love it. Inked one of these rainbow. Keep meaning to do more but you know holiday season everything is happening at once um hopefully come january but yeah that is pretty much my holy grail let's see how about my rainbow d20 the one i'm keeping for myself And let's make this our last one because this video is already getting pretty long. 15, very last question. Okay, that comes from MK, that's cool too. And they ask, do you prefer DMs that are more goofy and less story driven or more serious? And so there, there's a balance you gotta strike to make it great. Um, Generally, I prefer a more serious story, but like not so serious that we can't go off and start, you know, seducing the door and intimidating the statue. Um, but I like the silliness to come from players, you know, just in the moment, if that makes sense. Um, that, that game, uh, that I was talking about before. So there were, let's see, me, Beth, Corey, Luke, Stephanie. Yeah, so there are originally five of us. We invited a six player. And so the original five of us were all, you know, in our early 20s and goofballs and kind of, you know, our type of people. And Bless his heart. Uh, the new guy was a 40 something old school nerd who had been playing, you know, since forever and was old enough to be some of our dad. <laughs> he just, he, he didn't quite get it. Oh, uh, when 
we did things like um, I'm going to roll to seduce the giant spider. For the record, it totally worked. It wasn't me. It was our uh, six inch tall uh, hard boiled pixie noir detective. Um, he successfully seduced the spider that was attacking us. What he did not take into account is that um, female spiders eat their mates. Yeah. So that that didn't exactly end well. But, you know, it was fun. Ah, uh, screw it. Let's do one more. Because I want to show off my unicorn D20. Love unicorns. Unicorns are my favorite. <laughs> wow. Another one for a float test, apparently. We're using next session, because jeez. All right, give it a real good shake. 13, cool. Am I counting wrong? Eh. We'll do, so Captain, or Captain Tiny Kraken, I can't read my own handwriting my first character death. So that came, actually came in my second campaign ever because the first one, the DM was kind and didn't really make that a possibility. Um, <laughs> so that one, the one with my first character death, was set in basically a wasteland. And part of our um, storyline, because it's my current campaign I'm playing in, is figuring out what made everything like that. And we're kind of, you know, sidetracked right now, but we'll get back to it. Um, and so everything we ran into is either a zombie or a skeleton or some kind of undead. And then one day we ran into a zombie beholder. And while all of us are looking at it in just abject horror and why this, it uh, got off a surprise round and the uh so the dm rolled for what kind of beam it uh sent out and it was a disintegration beam and it got my character square between the eyes and yeah wasn't great um i think she has a complex now because this is the campaign where uh, none of us can really die die um all of our consciousnesses are contained in a gem in these gauntlets that we have um, and boyfriend came to play one session because we're long distance. So he played while he was here visiting last time. And the impression he came away with was, you're all fucking liches. You're all already dead. Which it is very probable. But, you know. So that was fun. I should do this again sometime. But I hope it was interesting for y'all. Hope. Hope my babbling is at least a little bit interesting. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. See you later, everyone.